Maybe they don't have Reapers back here anymore. No, there's definitely a Reaper. Oh my f***ing god, I'm gone. As much as I want to see your new high-def textures all over my face, let's try- that Christ, what was that? Oh, f Stop it. Oh, I hit myself. Oh, there you are, you spawned. Ooh, ever so close. Ugh. All right, well, I do enjoy myself some fireworks and what a show it was. Come on, Quinn, I just want to go home. What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. When we left off, we had just built our mobile vehicle bay. Bam, right up there, above our nice little makeshift base, just a temporary base until we get to a nice place to settle in. I also don't remember that life pod being there. Did I check that one out yet? I can't remember. Anyway, we're about to build the Seamoth, go over to the Aurora, uh, fix everything, which also means I need a laser cutter. Also, you guys have told me that there's a new biome behind the Aurora. I can't remember what it's called, but when we get there, I'll check the, uh, I'll check the data. But it sounds sweet enough for us to, to look at. Hopefully there's not a giant reaper there to, uh, demolish us. Also, it might be in the game yet. I have no idea. Uh, since I stopped doing the update videos, I, I'm not sure. Whoa. Yo, my friend, why are you locked? Oh, I'm dying. Well, that's not good. I should probably eat something. You got any- no food. But my pot is locked. What the hell? Anyway, it may not be in the game yet, but it might be. The Reaper has a new skin, uh, which apparently is terrifying. Oh, we have a message too. Okay, we got stuff to take care of. Let's just go ahead and do all this. If you guys are still enjoying the series, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below, and let's get started. I need food to bathe. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take all this stuff. Too bad I can't eat these creature eggs. That would be convenient. That's fair enough, fair enough. Let's listen to the message. What's up? Officer Keen, this is Officer Keen of LivePod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. Scan show dry land a kilometer south of the crash site. Stay together and regroup at the rendezvous point. Good luck. This message will now repeat. Okay. So I'm assuming he's talking about, oh, rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Okay. So it's going to tell me, I guess when we go there, it'll tell me about the, the floater island. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Uh, there's the exploded Aurora. We died. Oh, yeah, that means uh, that the bottom also probably has the new animation. That's kind of cool that that happened mid-game for me. Oh, yeah. And there's supposed to be a rabbit ray. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's so awesome. I love it. And the rabbit ray actually spawns each time, too, so that's pretty cool. Swims away pretty fast, though. All right, let's get this, uh, let's get this paper. Oh, yeah, I messed up. I took out all my batteries because I was going to exchange them out. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so we got... Battery, 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 battery. Charge 90%, 60%, 86. 100, 100, 100, 100, 0. There we go. Okay, so these are all at 100. I think what I'm going to do is have a battery... Can we make another one? There may not be a bad idea to put another battery charger down. Eventually. I need food, though. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Put all these power sources in. All my electronic equipment is here. Uh, so we have six... And we have one extra battery. What is not being used? I think we're good. Let me put all this stuff away. What the hell was that? Dude, this game. I swear, this game. Oh, Stalka. All right, I need you to fuck off, please. Oh my God, I love the flashlight underwater at night. It's the best. Hey, this stuff respawned. I feel like every time my, I play this game, something is updated, my God. Okay, <laughs> okay, nope. <laughs> I'm going inside the pod to get my message. All right, what do you got to say? Aurora, it's yes. Sunday. We've made orbit and scanned yes. and found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Excellent. I can't wait to see you guys when you arrive on this planet next to the giant gun. You guys get it? Oh God, I'm dying. I'm dying of uh, freaking hunger, please. Mr. Peep, oh God, come back here. Where'd you go? Okay, there we go. We got Mr. Peep's gonna eat that. 
Good lord. That was ridiculous. Oh boy. Dude, I can't do anything around here. It's crazy. Give me the peeper. Oh, did I get it? I don't think I got it. Got one. Got two. Just gonna grab a bunch and cure them up. I could use the grav sphere, right? To pull them in. That's a neat way of fishing. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat the boomerang. Uh, eat a peeper. Oh, wait. What? I think I ate too much. Oh, fuck. Look how much water I lost from that. That's ridiculous. All right, so we're all set for food. I'm going to stop. Okay, so basically, <laughs> it's like a normal process, except I don't have to do anything. That's kind of nice. I'm pretty sure we determined we could do the sea moth rather easily. Yeah, titanium, easy. Power cell, easy. Glass, easy. Lubricant, you know what? Let's just make that right now. Silicone rubber and two batteries, I think, makes that. The two lubricants. Okay, that's what I need. I just need some scrap metal, which is laying around pretty much everywhere. Dude, I don't like that this stalker's... You know what? Dude, get the hell out of here. I don't like that you're here. Holy shit, what is this thing? What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Please stop that, dude. That is actually very creepy. I don't think I was supposed to move that, probably. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill... Unfortunately, I'm going to kill this stalker because he uh, is starting to get a little bit on my nerves. Kill him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think so, buddy. Give me an assault. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, we're good. So the stalker is now away. I don't know if he's like tied to that location or not, but I'm kind of sick of seeing his face. All right, titanium ingot. There we go. So we got the uh, titanium ingot seamoth. Power cell and two glass. Oh, I just need one more quartz. One more quartz. Mmm, there you are. You can fix your thing. What a tasteful, tasteful piece of mineral. All right, nice. We got our stuff. Let's get in here and make this sea moth real quick. Ba -ba -ba bam What a beautiful piece of machinery. We're going to head on over to Officer King's place first. And make sure... I'm going to put all this stuff away. All right, and then the laser cutter. I actually kind of want to make that before we go anywhere. Because then I could just go straight over to where I need to go on the Aurora. Okay, so we need a diamond. Titanium and cave sulfur. Okay, I'm gonna head over to see if I can find a cave sulfur. Should be right over here. There's an egg for you right there. Mr. I know what you are. Yay, he's gone. Cave sulfur? Yes. That would just need diamond, which I have no idea where that is, but that's fine. We will, uh, we'll get that some other time. Let's just get in our sea moth and head on over. Officer Keen's last broadcast location, and I guess we'll go check out the 13 one too, since we're just killing time until we get rescued by the Sunbeam. You know, end of the game's coming pretty soon. I'm excited to be taken home to Federation space. Oh, please get me away from these sand sharks. I'm not okay with any of that. Dude, how far down is that thing? Holy crap, this is so much easier to travel. Can I pull up my, oh, I can pull up my inventory. Sweet, so let's go ahead and drink, and we'll eat a cooked peeper. There we go. We're gonna need some more. Ooh, wait. That's quartz deposits, right? I'm not sure that I can actually get that. Oh, wait. What is this? Ooh, I hit something. Mubby. Okay, yeah, so we're pretty far down. I'm going to need, eventually, uh, a rebreather. Dude, how far down did you go, you crazy bastard? Oh, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. I don't remember this being in the sparse reef, dude. I don't even know, is that going to get me to where I need to go? I don't think so. Let me just go past here real quick. Oh, there you are. Okay. 123 meters. I can go down a little bit. How far can I go down when it comes to breathing? I don't even know. Aha! Dude, LifePod19, what is up, dude? Hey, buddy. Uh, can I scan you real quick? The shuttle bug. Very good. Okay, so we got an abandoned PDA. Oh, I got another... I got another signal. Life pod 13, life pod 19. So, oh, the Aurora Rendezvous Point. Oh, another PDA. Yes. The eye stalk. What is this? I don't think I've ever looked at that before. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I forgot. Oh, is there diamond down here? Oh, dude, I almost passed this up completely. What are you? Lightweight, high-capacity tank. Hell yes. Although I don't know if that's absolutely needed. I don't know if it is. Okay, so we are here. Uh, I need the laser cutter before I even go to the Aurora. So that's 
Gonna have to wait. Ow! You goddamn idiots. Okay, there's a bunch of Reginald here too. Kind of want to capture them for food intake. But this sparse reef is actually kind of scary. Just a little bit. It's, it's actually a, just an open... Ooh, what are you? Hello? Mercury! Well, let me fix this guy. Where's my welder? There we go. Okay, so we got 26 minutes before they arrive. And that's fine. Ooh, yeah, we're in a good place right now. Ooh, this is cool. So we're pretty much underneath the floater islands, right? So where does this rendezvous point go? Oh, it should be above here, right? Yeah! Okay, that's perfect. Oh, boy. Here comes the Degassi, dude. I don't know if I want to continue this storyline just yet. Let me, let me, let me go back. Because I really need to focus on the current storyline, which is, uh, the Sunbeam. So we're gonna focus on that. I'm gonna try to get the laser cutter before they arrive. So we need to find a diamond. Which I think you can get in Basalt Outcrops. If not, you can certainly get them in the mountain, the mountain range. So I'm just gonna head over there. Oh, Power Cell Charger? Hell yeah, dude. Give me that. Holy shit, dude. You are getting close. <laughs> Chill out, my boy. Jesus, dude. Guys, calm down. I know it's a giant reef back. Okay, I go oh, fuck. Getting out of here. Get, 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 get out. This is much easier now that I have a mobile oxygen bay <laughs> that I can just return to. Oh, hey. Sunbeam landing site is over there. Okay, so we'll go to this first. I need to stop getting myself super distracted. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That's a nice place I can't go into because I don't have myself a laser cutter. Uh, yo. Too deep. This is too deep. Too deep and dark, man. Please don't have a reaper here. Okay. We're safe. Th Ooh, there's bone sharks. That's never good. All right, so let's get this. Data box, what do you got? What do you got for me? Shit, what was that? What was it? I guess it's something I already had. I'll pick up the abandoned PDA. Give it here. Dang it, I thought I was going to get something out of that. But I guess not. Okay. <laughs> All right, I've checked all the places Welcome aboard, Captain. so far, I think. And what might you be? Cyclops Bridge. Yes. Ooh, another one. Yes. So we got the Cyclops Bridge fragment complete. Our blueprint. Uh, dude, this is so awesome. Imagine if Subnautica, there was no, there was no like day. It was just so far away that light doesn't even, oh, I've already gotten that. The light doesn't even penetrate all that much. Can you imagine traveling and surviving in this place with just the darkness? Ugh, God. Hull fragment. Yes, give me that. Bunch of stuff I need. All right, so we only got 19 minutes. We got to hurry up. We got to freaking hurry up. Ooh, blood kelp. Ooh, no, 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 no. I am not in any position to fight you, buddy. Please go away. Yes, you're very scary. You're very scary, Harry Carey. I would love to pet you and all, but I'm just not in a position to do that. Ooh, God, these sand... Holy mother of God. They're like a billion bone sharks, dude. Stop it. Ah, uh, just... Uh, uh, oh, God, this is terrible. This is absolutely disgusting. I don't want to be... Okay, floater islands are fine. You know, I feel safe that I see land in some direction. Holy crap, this night has been going on forever, too. That's my bad, dude. My bad. We're good. We're good. Holy shit. Wow, this school of reef back. <laughs> this is beautiful, dude. Listen to that music. Oh my god. Alright, now I know a reaper spawns somewhere around the mountain. Not looking forward. Oh my god fucking god dude i can't do this oh is that diamond is that diamond i think that's diamond i need an exo suit you're in a night this is absolutely crazy hey get the hell off you bitch <gasps> shit all right my delicious purple friend i don't have time for this it's time to ram dude let's freaking go what do you got what do you got my dude oh how do you like that Fuck. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. So I'm going to explore around down here since we are pretty much here already. Okay. There's a basalt. Give me the basalt. 
Diamond! Yes! Use of the resources for survival is sanctioned, but you will be liable to reimburse the full market price your current bill stands. Oh boy, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. I would go bankrupt. Anyway, let's go ahead, park this up here. That's a nice little parking spot. Let me just get all this stuff first. There's definitely stuff in this these mountains that I want to look at. Well, this is not a very good place to park. I don't like it. <laughs> I should go around. Seamoth seems like it takes a lot more damage. Hello. What might you be? Reinforced dive suit. Yes, I thought I had that. No, I don't. <gasps> That's super sweet. Guys, can you please stop hitting my freaking... Uh, oh, wow. I didn't even realize I'm full. That sucks. <laughs> I can't even get anything even if I wanted to. Yes! Reinforced dive suit. Sweet. Okay, so can I eat something? I thought I caught some fish. I did. Uh, Reginald, I don't have much water. I just realized that. All right, I'm going to need some water soon. <laughs> oh, boy. One of my favorite places ever. Let's just go up here. I know there's the uh, the key up here, right? I can at least open this door. I don't think we're going to find some water in here, though. That's probably not going to happen. Purple or artifact. Mm play. Yay. Got the engine now. Okay, so can I get something from this? Oh, it's a bolt. Let me scan it first. And I think I might be able to get some... Uh, some fruities from that. They replenish some of my water. I don't want to drink too much. Inventory is full. Crap. I'll drop the Reginald. I don't need that. There we go. Mobile tree sample. Oh, it does. Yes. Water. Okay, I don't want to throw up now. How much can I eat? I'm going to save. <laughs> Just in case it kills me. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, so I'll wait a bit. We'll go explore around, come back to that bulb of tree, and eat it if I need to. Hi, guys. You guys are pretty. You know, it's safe to say we're probably not going home on that ship. Just going to point that out. Now we need some light. Ooh. We'll take gold. Let's go down, I guess. Oh, no. Can't jump down there. Got a diamond. Oh, God. Get away from me. Get away from me. Here we go. This is some scary stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this is the, uh, yeah. So this is the teleporter, right? I don't remember all of this detailed, like, carving of the mountain. I guess it changed when... Ooh, there it is. All right, so ooh, we can actually put an ion crystal in here. So if I get one, I can activate this teleporter. But I have no idea where it goes. Intended purpose is unclear. Possible theories. Advanced te transportation network. I always like how it's the last one, too. Ooh, another key? I did not know there were two in here. But now I can go... I'm pretty sure I can go all inside the, uh, the enforcement platform now that's awesome oh hello let me scan you before you go away <laughs> eh. oh boy aha purple artifacts fragments we already got two of these though need i know what they are algae growth on the exterior of this device indicates it was abandoned hundreds perhaps thousands of years ago despite its age its power source appears to be functional maybe compatible with other alien technologies yes like this one And there we go. Door is unlocked. Artifact terminal. This device appears to be alien in origin and is connected to a nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, it appears to function like a normal lock. It only see it only needs the correct kind of key. That's what it'd give it away, would it? Scans indicate the structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No matches found in database. Performing structural analysis. Yes, we have seen this so many times. Identified a background message being broadcast through the facility. Partial translation available message reads. Warning, unidentified craft in orbit of this planet will be destroyed. Prevent the Karar from spreading. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Alien data terminal. This terminal was discovered within the alien facility on the surface of planet 4546B. On approach, the terminal began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. Matches no known human technologies, constructed from the same off-world material as the facility itself. Seems to be a solid-state computer of some kind. No recognizable user interface. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved, or genetically selected, sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device, and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply that designers are considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Using the evidence gathered from this device, it may be possible to extract comprehensible data from other such devices should they exist. 
further alien data required. Uh, analysis of the patterns of the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data is required. We know nothing about these guys. Yes, we have the the crystal. The crystal. I'm not going to I'm going to put it in the teleporter, at least one of these, but I'm not going to uh I should have scanned it, but I'm not going to uh, go through the teleporter because I have no idea where it takes me and I don't remember if I can actually get back or not. Let me scan this. Read it up. Ion crystals. These alien cubes each store the equivalent energy of a small nuclear detonation. The alien technology is able to keep the stored atoms in a permanently stable state. However, under the right conditions, the reaction could be re-catalyzed and the energy released in a controlled manner. They were likely used as batteries storing power generated at the main reactor and then transported wherever they were needed. Possible source of escape velocity energy? Question mark? Unknown language. Attempting translation. Alien schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of the facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by usual means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Interesting. And this is the your best probability of interfacing with the facilities to achieved by accessing the control room. Yeah, we already read that. Woo! <laughs> Still pretty epic. Again, we're, 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 we've already seen all this, right? Most of us have. Uh, a lot of this would be amazing to see as a new player. And now I use my second artifact to then open this up. Works perfectly. Welcome to the moon pool. All right, I'm going to get back up top through this. And it's dangerous business because there's a freaking warper probably out. There's that teleporter. Okay, I don't like it. All right, let's just get back up to the top. Oh, God, he's right behind me. Right behind me. Right behind me. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's, why does it have to be nighttime right now? All right, we're back safe. Warper cannot go on land. Surprisingly, you'd imagine they would try to, considering there's some uh, land-dwelling creatures that could have the Karar. Let's self-scan. See how bad it is right now. Performing self-scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. So, I remember the... I remember the uh, sunbeam being quite large. However, this is the landing site? Dude, how are you even going to do that? I was trying to make sure I don't throw up. I don't know. If you guys know how much I have to eat to make myself throw up so I can avoid that, that would be great. But we're going to get a front row seat at night <laughs> to this. So, I'm just going to turn off the HUD, put that away, and uh, let's enjoy this. <gasps> Ooh. Good God. I can't even imagine how scary this would be for new players, dude. Oh my Lord. In a local broadcast from the Sunbeam. I don't believe it. There's someone down there. Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. I don't know how oh, you got away from that wreck, let alone survive since then. But we'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation space. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. Breaking atmosphere in five, four, three. What is that? No, the red spike. From the planet. It 
it was then they realized that all hope was lost. Huh. Oh, that is actually still very sad. The impact of that, that's crazy. Poor Avery Quinn. I feel like the moon is not moving. Did you see the moon, like, pause? Or is it moving? Did it pause because it wanted to finish the sequence? That's weird. Ah, uh, well, it's certainly it. Let me put my HUD back on because I can't see anything. There we go. Yes, we get it. You're almighty. It's like a battle cry. All right, so now that that's over and we realize that we don't have any help, <laughs> I think uh, best course of action is to explore this. We know where we're going next. We'll make the laser cutter fix the Aurora first. And then we'll begin our deep journey. I need to get some upgrades, dude. I gotta make my- I gotta make a moon pool, which I don't even know where the freaking fragments are. I guess I, I should go do the Degassi thing, too. There's so much to do. So much to do. Poor, poor Avery Quinn. <laughs> oh. Had no idea. You'd imagine they would be, like, cautious of things like that, you know? You'd imagine they would, at least. Ugh. It's just so strange to me. I have no room for anything right now. I guess I'll leave these here. You know, there's not really any other purpose to having them. I think I need, yeah. The purple. Oh, I can't even carry that, dude. I want to get rid of a gold. Oh, I can't, can I? Son of a... I'm just going to use my health kit. <laughs> I have no choice now. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Yes, and you make it very easy to access it. Access it. Also wonder why they put the keys right there, you know? Like, if you were trying to keep someone out, wouldn't you have the keys on you, rather? Scan the hell out of this. Hello? Oh, we can't scan it? Really? Disable facility. Ouch. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. That is so creepy. Honestly, is the creepiest thing ever. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. Yes. Don't don't I get a, a signal for that somewhere? No. Recorded to data bank. Oh, I guess I got to read that. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. The disease research facility. This device contains functional information regarding a second alien facility on the planet. The facility was built at a depth of 700 meters, approximately one kilometer southwest of the surface facility. Uh, personnel 7, live specimen study, synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Karar. Method, infection of live specimens with bacteria, observation of immune response, surviving specimens sent to primary facility for further analysis. So, in addition to that, it tells us there's also another facility. <laughs> Good God. Precautions, remote containment and research sites to reduce... Uh, risk of contagion, off-site thermal power generator, and another one. Uh, ground to air quarantine enforcement platform in case of security breach. And that's what we just experienced. In the event of outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. I did not get a signal for that. There, you, you usually get a signal, but I guess not. Uh, can we go back up? We surely can. All right, so we're in our Seamoth. I'm going to head back to base, make our laser cutter, head on over to the Aurora, fix it, and then also look for other blueprints. I need to get something that I can dive deep because I can't go down to the the disease research facility until I get, uh, you know, an upgrade to my depth meter. So I need to find a moon pool. I got to find all this stuff. Holy crap. So in essence, the way the game plays out, you may think you should be able to beat the game rather quickly, but 
it's going to take a while before you can do that. There's a lot of things you need to find and explore. And I think they capture that whole, like, the idea of you being stranded on the planet. You have limited resources and knowledge. So you attain that knowledge and MacGyver your way to exploring and finding a way to get off the planet. That's basically it. Good on this guy for not giving up. I would have gave up a long time ago. Okay, so we're also going to have to expand our base, probably. We could put our moon pool there. Uh, I don't really see any other place that I want to put my base, you know? Like, I feel like the safe shallows is the best place to put your base because it's the central, it's the starting point, it's safe, rather, slightly. I don't know where I'm going to find the moon pool fragments. I'm a little nervous that I have no idea where it is. Welcome. Although I might end up finding them on the floater island because they have all those different things. They didn't have a moon pool, but they had other things like the scanner room. I'm, su I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of base material from the Degassi place. So what do I have here? Basically no space to do anything. Uh, I'm going to have to drop something. Probably my propulsion cannon right now. And then I'm going to have to make... Or find some glass. What do I need for a locker? So one glass and two and two titanium. Okay, I just need two quartz. Where are you? All right, there we go. And I got some stuff to make some water because I'm almost dead. All right, make the glass. I think two bleaches. I have another salt, so I'm going to use that. But I think right now two is enough. There we go. All right, let's drink that water up. Hell yeah. Okay, you got the reinforced dive suit. Synthetic fibers. Oh, should I be able to make that? Well, I can't do it just yet. Synthetic fibers. Where do I... Oh, there we go. Uh, benzene and fiber mesh. So three blood oil from the blood kelp. And the fiber mesh. So creep vines. Okay, I can definitely make that. All right, let's make the laser cutter real quick. All my batteries are charged too. This one is uh, a bit used up. And that one can be charged too. Now we got our laser cutter. Okay, so I'm going to have to make also another locker. Oh, yeah. Paint a picture for me. All right, so I'm going to store all this stuff. Okay, simple enough. What's your health like, buddy? What is your health like? Oh, you're full. Okay, cool. You have storage, right? You have default storage, right? Or no, does it not automatically come with storage? Okay, that's fine. So I think I'm going to head over to the Aurora and explore around it a bit. Uh, because there is that new biome that I said we were going to check out. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and save at the Aurora to uh, continue on in the next episode because it's been going on for quite some time. I'll tell you what, I am super terrified to go down here. Oh, please. Please don't let there be a Reaper. Okay, so we're kind of behind here. I don't know what the biome looks like exactly. I mean, it's probably looks like this. They said it was behind the Aurora. So this just looks like the grassy plateaus. It might be a little bit further back. Oh, yeah. Keep the light on there. Oh, buddy. What is that? What is that? What is that? Propulsion cannon. We got that. We got that. No worries. Ouch. Okay, I don't like the sound of any of this. We're, we're only at 60 health. Dude, if I run into a Reaper, it is over. Doesn't the Reaper attack the Reefbacks too? Why is a Reefback so close? Maybe they don't have Reapers back here anymore. That would be so lovely. <laughs> no, there's definitely a Reaper. Oh my fucking god. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I already know he's right fucking behind me, and I hate it. I fucking... Oh, it's the... Oh, is the reef back doing that? Oh. Okay, so he's not behind me. He's over there, though. I don't know how we're gonna check out this thing, though, dude. I'm saving. Freaking saving, dude. Not even playing around anymore. Alright, so this looks like the crash zone. Which I'm assuming is where the new biome is. Ooh! Fuck, I hit something. I hit something. What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, why am I over here? If we could just make an agreement that you don't eat my, uh... Fuck, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, boy, I'm freaking dead. Oh, God. As much as I want to see your new high-def textures all over my face, let's try... That Christ, what was that? Let's try to not let that happen, huh? Are you staying the hell away from me? Jesus Christ, dude, that was so close. I am incredibly surprised that he did not grab me. It's not repairing. Why are you not repairing? My friend, I need you to... Oh, exchange power source. Oh, why did you not tell me that? It was making the noise like it was working. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm sure you guys want to see the updated textures. So let's just get out, save, and we'll load it back up if we die. 
No big deal, right? No big freaking deal. Mr. Reaper. Oh, fuck! Stop it! Oh, I hit myself. Oh, there you are! You spawned! Oh, ever so close! You can't really tell. I mean, he looks, he looks beautiful, as always. So there's two of them! I don't even know if I'm in the right area, my dudes. I cannot guarantee I'm in the right area. This is the crash site. People were saying it's here. So I'm just moving around. No big deal. No big deal. I don't think I actually need to go there. So if I die, that's fine. Where the hell? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh God, you are so loud and scary. I don't like it. He's gonna, he's gonna eat me. I've already accepted my fate, people. Uh, where the hell? Where the hell are- what, what am I looking for? There's resources over here, that's nice. Wow, I cannot believe they didn't eat me. Oh, here's something. Ooh, okay. We got... Bone Sharks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello! Okay, so is this it? Oh, are these- is this what it is? Just these little plateaus? Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. Is this seriously it though? Is there anything special in here? Oh, yep, I'm dying. Imminent. Is there anything special in here, though? I honestly don't even know if this is it. This could have been here a long time ago. Okay, this is definitely something new. I don't remember all this stuff being behind the Aurora. What in the world? Okay, this might be it. Oh, no, I'm in the crag field. I'm in the crag field. Okay, I guess I don't know where this thing is. It's nighttime. It's probably the worst time to be exploring it. If that was it, then awesome. I don't know the details of it. You know what? I'm going to look it up. I don't even care. All right, so that is it. They are called the Crash Zone Mesas. Uh, they are protruding little land pieces that have life on it, uh, which is kind of strange to see in a place that's supposed to be barren. But I guess that's the idea. I guess people are thinking that maybe the Aurora crashing had ruined the rest of the- Ooh. <gasps> I forgot. Life Pod 7 is here, bro. I know what's in here. Toy car and Mercaplier doll. <laughs> An unusual doll. Hmm, yes. Gray cap. Can I carry that? Oh, yeah. I have plenty of room. What am I doing? Uh, I can pick up that. What else can I do? Other things. I'll take that. And I take it. I can't take that. I'll take it to make a salvage. There's a bone shark somewhere. Oh, that's you. Cool. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. that Those are the, uh, the crash zone mesas. And the reapers are pretty much guarding them. So, that's cool. So, I saved and I didn't die. I better save again. That's probably the smart thing to do. I should redo my, uh, Seamoth 2 <laughs> before I head back over. This, I would say this is a safe place to go or to stay, but it doesn't look like it. There's a ton of bone sharks, dude. There's a ton of them. Now, let me just go to the surface. Where's the Aurora? Where's the freaking fat ass of the Aurora? Holy crap, I can't even... I can't even tell. Oh, there you are. You are very, very far away. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. This looks safe. What a beautiful view. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to head over to the Aurora. We're going to fix that real quick. Then we're going to head over to the Floater Islands behind us and then, uh, you know, explore the Degassi story. In addition to that, we'll probably find everything we need to go a little bit deeper. And then we can uh, do that, head on over to the Disease Research Facility. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you are, leave a like. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!